Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just came back in from the pool, so excuse my outfit. I'm gonna go get in something a little more comfortable and then I'm gonna share with you guys five fun activities you can use this summer to expand your learning and have fun at the same time. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel, we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are gonna help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. Whew, okay, that's a little bit better. Before we jump in today's video, I wanna let you know that this is video actually done in collaboration with four other amazing homeschool moms. We've got Valerie from Our Homeschool Castle, Leilani, from Living With Eve, Anna from Just Making It Work, and Nina from Everyday Blessings. Each of us are gonna share five totally different ideas for how you can insert fun into your summer learning. And we've created this awesome free printable that you can grab down at the link down below that you can use as you watch all of our videos and write down and brainstorm the different fun ideas that we share. But also our hope is that we might inspire you to come up with some fun ideas of your own. I found over the years that having a fun list like this can be helpful on those days when you're tired, you're worn out, maybe the summer fun initially has worn off and you're looking for ways to keep things fresh. So go grab your free printable and then come back here to hear our amazing ideas. Speaking of the pool, let's talk about some ways that we can incorporate some summer fun learning into pool time. Well, the first way you could do that is by grabbing a portable Bluetooth speaker, taking it out to the pool with you and turning on your favorite audiobook, podcast, or even curriculum that you have on CD. We have Story of the World that we love to listen to, tons of fun audiobooks, and if you wanna know where to find good audiobooks at a great price, be sure to stick around for Saturday's video because that's what it's all about. I love taking the opportunity in the pool while the kids are swimming and they're engaged and they're having fun to just have something playing in the background so that they can be learning at the same time. And they absorb more when they're moving their bodies. It's just a scientific fact. So I love the fact that we can kind of tackle some school type subjects but sneak it into pool time. Another way that we do some summer fun learning in the pool is that we love to take typical pool games like diving for rings and turn that into a learning game. So I will throw rings into the pool, all over the pool, and then I will have my kids come up to me, they have to swim up to me, and either read a word or spell a word, and then as soon as they get that right, they get to go off and dive for a ring. You could even make it a competition if you have kids of similar age and ability and put up a flashcard. It could be multiplication, it could be anything, guys. Hold up a flashcard and whoever yells out the answer first gets to dive for the ring and whoever has the most rings at the end of the day wins. There's lots of ways to do this. And don't forget that pool time is a great time to work on PE, just the physical fitness, actually swimming laps, teach them different swimming strokes, or insert a little fun water aerobics in the summer. Number two is to check out your local area and find different events and activities going on outside. Some of our favorites to do during the summer are summer concerts, summer um, outdoor plays, music theater, or maybe a Shakespeare in the park kind of activity. You can usually just Google your city and outdoor concerts and you'll come up with a list of ideas. We've actually been able to be introduced some, through some really fun new upcoming artists this way. Or if you don't have those kinds of activities in your area, a lot of times parks will have amphitheaters open that when they don't have an event going on, your children can play on. So have them put together their own play and put it on for you and maybe your family and friends. Number three, summer is the perfect time to work on construction projects or deconstruction projects with your children. So what do I mean by that? grab a hammer and nails and build something with your kids. This summer we have been building a fence around our backyard and so we just incorporated the kids into that. They got to learn measurements and how to get the exact measurements. They were able to help with the actual using of tools which is always super fun. These are life skills guys that they can use for the future. But also deconstructing things can be incredibly educational without them even knowing it. And what do I mean by that? I mean, go to Goodwill or look around your house, grab any kind of old technology, maybe an old computer, toaster, DVD player, 
or even old toys that you don't want anymore and give your children screwdrivers and hammers and things like that with adult supervision and let them take it apart and learn about the different pieces and elements. My kids do this almost every summer. And guys, I'm not kidding you when I tell you they can spend hours outside having fun, taking apart, looking at the circuit boards, seeing how it works. And sometimes they even try to put it all back together once they've taken it apart. So don't underestimate some of that clutter that may be laying around your house that can help entertain your kids and incorporate summer learning. Number four, take a field trip. Okay, this might seem obvious, but did you know that there are a lot of different field trips that you can do completely free around your area, regardless of where you live? There are awesome state parks, fun monuments, and even local businesses that you can go tour. Head on over to your local farmer's market and have your kids look around there, talk to the different farmers, make some connections, may even be able to look around their setup. You want a few ideas of different places that you might be able to go completely free in your area, be sure to check out the video up in the iCards or down in the description below that I did on free field trips and just giving you some ideas of the different kinds of places that you could go this summer and even into the school year. Our final activity can be done indoors. You don't always wanna be outside in the summer heat or sometimes we have rainy days. So for those kinds of days, I suggest doing a family tree activity. Summer is the typical time when you a lot of times are visiting family, going to family reunions, things like that. So take the opportunity to go with your kids and learn some family history. Print out pictures of the different people in your family, their grandparents, their aunts and uncles, their cousins, and build a family tree on your wall or on a poster board. But then also go and call or talk to and interview different family members to learn personal bits of history that you can put together with that. This will be a fun summer activity that will have lasting memories and effects on you and on your kids. Now, a quick bonus activity is we love to do Bible summer memory work. And if you guys want to join us, we're actually do hosting a Bible summer memory challenge. I will post a link down below with all the information that you guys need for it. I've got free printables and a lot of other fun activities, accountability, things like that, that I would love to have you guys join us on if you want to learn some scripture with us this summer. But be sure to also go and grab your summer fun learning printable and check out the other ladies in the playlist because after you've watched each and every one of our videos, you're gonna have at least 25 great ideas that you can incorporate this summer. I hope this has been helpful and enjoy your summer. Bye!